Hello, convertible robotic action figure fans. Uh, it's Sir Tacos, and I haven't posted in a while, and the last update I gave you was a lie. I apologize, I lied to you. Right after I posted that, I realized that I wanted to make changes to my channel. And then, uh, after that, I was like, okay, I'm getting a Legacy Armada for Christmas, I'll do my video on him. And then he broke, so I sent him back to get a replacement, and they didn't have him, so they sent me Motormaster. I've already reviewed that, so I let them know I already had it, and they sent me, uh, Masterpiece, um, Burnout. And this is a really fun figure. I like the Masterpiece Skids mold, and, uh, I will probably do my first proper video back on her. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. But the subject of today's video, which I've been rambling on and not getting to, is Star Toys Commander ST01, aka Blitzwing. And I wanted to do a review on him when I got him, but I broke a piece, which uh, I'll go over later in the video, uh, how I broke it and how not to break yours, because that's what this is. This is uh, kind of a reaction video. I watched Jabi the Hong review this figure, and I've been a fan of his for a few years now. And by a few years, I mean since like 2000, well, that was a decade, 2014-ish. Okay, a lot of years. Um, and he had some issues with his that are kind of common issues, I think. And I'm hoping that in this video, I can clear some of those up. And I have, I might be a Blitzwing fan, by the way. I have some Blitzwings over there. There's two more I want to get from my collection minimum. But, uh, so, I just kind of have them on the table. I don't need to clear it off in order to get this made. Um, but we're going to go over some transformation tips on uh, some of the issues he had and issues that I noticed in the video and have come across. And since it was going to be a lot easier to do this than leave a story in the comments, I decided to do this and I'm going to uh, post the video up and do a comment where I, uh go ahead and say, hey, TLDR, I made a video because it was easier, so please watch it. And I hope you guys enjoy the video too. Uh, enough rambling, we'll just go right into the spots that were issues and get into it. All right, now, the first issue I noticed in the video wasn't something that Jobby uh, brought up directly, but it was something that I saw he struggled with when going from robot to jet but he didn't struggle with it going from jet to tank, and I'm gonna show you why. So when he went to rotate this arm over, lift this up, he struggled to get it past this. And all you have to do to get it to go around that, I rotated it the wrong way, I'm a professional, is to put it off to the side here, like so. And then when you unplug the arm, rotate it straight, and then you rotate it over, and it goes right over that. Smooth, nice. That was the first thing I saw, so I wanted to address that. Um, there you go, this is not extended, but. So that's the first thing I saw, we'll move on to the next thing. All right, this next thing is another thing he didn't draw attention to, but I also saw, and that's when he was folding this up in, he squo squeezed it past here. No, 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 better way to do that. We'll turn it around here. You want to have this facing this way, sitting like this, just swing it in. You don't have to push, well, I, I had to push it past this because of the way I'm holding it, but normally you can just swing it in and out of there without it catching on anything. You don't have to stress anything. Bam, it's in there. Next thing. All right, so I kind of skipped one uh, because I want to address it now real quick. I'm going to do the nose cone thing in a minute, but he does talk about how he broke this tab right in here, which uh, I actually broke on the other side. This is the original one. I got a replacement part for the other side, so it stays in there. And if you notice, when I unplug this, it plugs in in two spots. This tab, and there's a tab back here I'll show you in a second. You want to pull up and get it off of that before you pull this out, or you will end up wrenching it. And then there's this tab here that goes into this uh, slot here. So you want to plug that in 
and then you want to squeeze it down and when you're going the other way you want to pull it up and then pull it out oh yep and then slap yourself in the face with a wing on top of it that'll avoid that uh breakage at least on mine so far because like i said mine broke the same way on the other side because i was doing it wrong all right now we're going to do the nose cone all right, so the first thing I noticed when he was doing the nose cone was that when he was folding this whole assembly up, he left this down until later and then had to pull it away and push the, the uh, cockpit window in place. So what you want to do is you want to actually position this up here and then fold this into place because then this little purple piece right here is going to slide right under there and you don't have to pull it away again or anything. It's just already done. Next thing he talks about is these things down in here. He pulls these up, rotates the head and gets them past it, and then his issue is that these tabs have to go in these slots back here. Focus, focus, get, no, focus, this, this right here, those slots. So when you go to fold this in, these have to be slightly depressed in order to get this into place. That's true, he was not wrong about that. But he couldn't get them in place because he had closed this already. You leave this open and then you reach in with your fingers behind here. And if you watch, you push those into place with your fingers until it's all straight right here and ready to plug in. And those are now plugged in properly and everything is the way it should be. And then after that, you close this all up. One more minor thing is I saw that he was having a little bit, uh, he was fiddling with this a little bit, and the best way to do that is to actually rotate it in, pull it out a little bit, and then rotate it out and up. So that way it's out that way. It's just a little easier to do that. And then you get it all squeezed together. So there you go with that. All right, now with all of that done, I've got him in jet mode. Everything looks good. Um, everything is plugged in properly on the intakes and stuff. And uh, like I said earlier, this side actually did break. And uh, just to repeat myself a little bit, you lift up and then pull out. This whole piece right here, I had to punch all the pins out and stuff, take it apart and put it back together after I fixed it. So it's actually a little tighter because some of those pins uh, didn't want to... Uh, cooperate so it's actually pretty tight up in here where I had to, I had to chew this apart with a uh, pair of pliers to get the pin out because of the way it's in there uh, here's your proof this is the old part um, and uh, let's see so it's it's facing this way oh um I accidentally lied to you guys the one that broke was on this side and the entire time I said it was on the other side so I actually showed you guys the piece that broke um, and you can't see where it broke off because I had to completely and totally mangle it to get the pin out and take all the tank wheels and stuff out. So, but yeah, just reiterating to do this wing, pull up and then out. It's a little easier when it's not all attached together up here, uh, which is why I'm struggling a little bit now. But if you watched the earlier part of the video, you saw that. And I believe the last issue he had was with tank mode solidity. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and go back to his video and make sure there was nothing in between and if that is the only thing left besides the one issue i can't fix and we'll get to that at the end uh i'll see you guys with that tip all right so here we are most of the way the tank mode there was something that i forgot about with the turret that isn't something he mentioned but something that i want to bring up and on one side we have the loose wheel issue that he had and on the other side we do not have that problem and i'm going to show you what to do to fix it and that's going to require ooh, let's raise that up i'm going to unplug the legs and use the waist uh the little ab crunch to bring the legs down out of my way like that and what i'm going to do is there is a oh that's the side that's not loose see i couldn't get it apart this little black piece right here that was rotated excuse me down for jet mode you want to have that up and there's a little slot there you know plug those together while they're out like this I'm bumping the thing holding my camera so you're gonna plug those together like that and then there's a groove here in the tread and there's a little tab on the back of the panel that was uh, folded around his arm and the reason I put this down is because you're going to want to get that over that and you're going to want to be able to get down in here so that way you can push against the arm 
and make sure that it starts seeding into that and get that seeded into place. And then once that's all done, you go ahead and get this in here and tab it into place as it should be and give it all a nice squeeze. There, no, well, this this will come off a little bit sometimes, yeah. But this whole panel right here isn't just flopping to the wind uh, like uh, the issue that was in Jobby's video. So hopefully that helps you out. I'm gonna go ahead and get the turret most of the way transformed and we'll do the last thing that I wanna show you guys. All right, so in, in the, the review by Jobby, he actually connects these two halves together and then pushes it down over this past these notches, which is gonna wear that down over time. So what I recommend, let's go ahead and see if I can do this on camera, is you're gonna want to bring it down as you're closing it and get it over those, which, okay, that was a little fast and I'm also not holding it at the right angle. So get it over those before you connect that. And then go ahead and push it together. That way you don't have to slam this down past those notches. Then you can just put these down at the side, push these over, uh, just for aesthetic purposes, I guess, and extend your tank barrel. And there, there you have the tank without the the real floppy bits. This side actually holds in pretty good. This one uh, might be the side that I had to fix. And like I said, I've got a little bit of issues with that, but that's because I had to fix it. And if you watch the beginning of the video, hopefully you won't have that issue moving forward. The one thing that he complained about that I agree with is that there is no weapon storage in any of the modes unless you count the weapons going in his hands in robot mode. And I'll, I'll probably bring this up when I do a video on him, but... Uh, I couldn't even, like, I was just, like, hoping I could get one weapon to store up in here somewhere, because there's some hollow spaces in these treads. It, they wouldn't fit. I couldn't get them to fit anywhere. So, you know, that's kind of a bummer about the weapons, and it's really a detractor. But hopefully this helped you fix some of your other issues, and uh, hopefully you're looking forward to me coming back now that I kind of have an idea of what I want to do, and I'll see you guys in the next video.